are you 100% sure this will work? Right, you're the expert. Good to go? Okay. What's up my dudes, it's Mr Evernote here, and I know you've not heard from me in a while, I've had a five year nap. But I'm awake now, and I've got some really hip announcements for you coming up. Now, we really value and appreciate your suggestions, they are so important to us. But unfortunately it's a bit inconvenient for us to do. So, I've been working on something much better, at least for me, and I've spent at least five minutes working on it. Introducing the new Evernote. Oh, wow, ooh. This is actually quite a sad video for me to make because Evernote was once the love of my life. It got me through med school and I don't really want to relinquish the old elephant. But there's been a few changes. So before we start, I need to get you up to speed. If you're not using an external brain in the 21st century, you might as well not be using shoes. And I'm not talking about having a chaotic dump of Apple Notes. I mean having a dedicated system to do this. Now, as technology and the demand for knowledge and managing your data has increased, each family of apps has had its use case stretched. Email was once your to-do list and your event calendar and used for storing links and things you want to read later and your appointments. And then that started to get to the point where to-do list managers emerged, reminders apps. Then external brain apps started to evolve as a result. And there's actually a next stage that's coming as well, which I'm going to cover in a second. There's obviously some people that still have a folder full of Microsoft Word documents, but then there's people who still choose to use a Windows PC in this world, bless them. So Evernote was my choice of external brain, and I define it as something where you can create and retrieve data quickly. The same way as if you had a prosthesis for your brain. Now, Evernote this year were really giving it the big in about this mysterious new update that's coming, and it was going to revolutionise the app. Unfortunately, what happened is it killed all of the features that made it an external brain. So by definition, it was a downgrade. It lost the ability to quickly create and retrieve data. People on their forums absolutely lost it. So now they've forced the hand of many of their users. What they did was they introduced product debt to try and remove technical debt, which is basically the developers making their internal problem. Now it's the user's problem. Hot potato, yellow car no returns. You touched it last. <laughs> they tried to wrap it up as a positive thing, but at the end of the day, the users just received a downgraded, slower, worse app. This power tool that they'd been building up and giving it all the hype about bringing it up to speed with the competitors had been neutered and turned into a child's toy. So I've given them a month since the new version's been released, and they've been slowly dripping back some of the old features, but why am I making such a big fuss about this? It's that if you're using something as an external brain, the whole purpose of it is the speed. It's the ability to quickly dip in and get what you need to do. If an app now takes 10, 15 seconds to load up, that compounds very quickly, and it's not acceptable for its use case anymore. It would actually be quicker to just keep a notebook in your pocket and write it down. Now there is a mass migration from Evernote to other tools, and it used to be that Evernote was kind of like the, the good old trusty, stable thing, but now that they've lost that, things like Notion start to become more appealing. Unfortunately, Notion isn't quite designed as an external brain, it's more of a dynamic database, so it's really made for collaboration and organising of information rather than having an encyclopedic data dump. So Notion is not a true substitute and it's also not snappy or easy to create notes, especially if you're focused on making text. The annoying thing is that there is no perfect all-in-one tool. This year, we're all just making do. A few are quite close to being there, so ClickUp technically does everything that I've described, but it's just so annoying to use and it's slow and just bloated. TickTick, surprisingly, is really close to dominating the market, even though they're not in that game, because they've introduced a notes feature. 
They actually only need to introduce this Omni search bar and they could clean up. Other options, Roam Research, I just see it currently as a ugly web app thinking tool. There's no native solution. It's probably gonna develop over the next couple of years, but currently it doesn't get me excited. There's many others as well, but none of them quite have the full feature set and there's a huge opening in the market at this stage. Apple Notes are almost perfect, but they're very simple. They're very slow to develop new features, but I would always rather use a native solution. And for some people, it might be all they need. Quick note about price though. I see some people mincing over like the five pound versus seven pound monthly fee. This should not be a consideration. For something that is your brain, your external brain, you should not be bothered about a few pounds difference here. For example, for something like Alfred, I would pay thousands of pounds for because of the time that it saves me. So what I'm currently doing is I'm using the legacy version of Evernote, but I know that it's not gonna be supported forever. I'm also trying to create new notes from this point onwards in Notion. I'm drawing a line in the sand and the experience isn't quite as smooth for the type of thing that I do. And I, I do just see them as different tools for different purposes. Notion, however, is great for dynamic shared projects, things like process notes for freelancers and staff that we employ, collaborations for the content calendar that we use. And then we have client documents in a dedicated CRM, which is Active Campaign. So where does that leave me, you, and many other Evernote users? Well, we're kind of refugees right now. The closest thing that's beckoning me is Apple Notes. They don't have a native Omni search bar function, which was one of the big reasons why I loved Evernote in the first place. And there is a workaround using a Alfred workflow, but it's just not quite the same. And there's no tags as well. So the decision that I feel like we have to make now is not what's best currently, because there isn't a current best. It's about what is the most future-proofed, which company responds to its users the most, which one's always on the case with developing new things and is on the pulse. The future of Evernote, I don't think is very promising. They have a big engineering team that they claim are less thinly spread now that they've unified the apps. So there is a potential for gain and they might make a big miraculous turnaround over the next year, but I'm not waiting around as a user. They've introduced trust issues by downgrading the app without warning. They've shown that they don't listen to their users and I think they've handled this whole thing quite poorly. In the future, one app to rule them all will emerge as the ultimate note-taking, CRM, calendar manager, task manager, all in one. And hopefully it won't be as bloated or as annoying to use as something like ClickUp. I think we're so close to it, but watch this space. If you are also feeling this way and you're not sure which way to go, a great website to look at is notapps.info. They basically aggregate all the different note-taking apps currently by different features so that you can look at the feature set that you use the most and find the best alternative for now. If you want to find out more on how to build your external brain, how I manage my tasks throughout med school and while running businesses while working as a doctor, check out this playlist here. I got the side right this time. Speak soon.